That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So, it's finally here after 14 years, and it's running pretty well. It has FSR3, but no FSR3 frame generation. But fear not, I will show you how to enable frame generation. So leave a like and subscribe. With FSR3 quality and 1080p max settings, I get 70 to 80 FPS. It's not bad, but I need more. So let's do this. First, make sure to disable upscaling before you install the mod. For this, we need DLSS enabler. Download link will be in the description. Now go to your RDR installed folder. Then open DLSS enabler. Before we install, I don't know if this will work for AMD and Intel users. But this will definitely work for GTX and below 40 series RTX users. I will show you how to install this mod for AMD GPUs as well. So try it yourself. Accept agreement and hit next. Next again. For the installation path, go to your RDR installation folder and copy this folder path from here. Paste it in as the installation path and hit next. For NVIDIA users, you only need to use two options. Install as a winmm.dll file and install OptiScaler 0.6. 0.7 is not working. Game is crashed with some violation error message. Then NVIDIA users, you are good to go. For AMD and Intel users, you need to choose the same two options and this enable support for AMD Intel option and this install.reg file option. For demonstration purposes, I will choose .reg file option too. After selecting everything, hit next, then install. Go to the game install folder again. AMD and Intel users have to run the disable signature checks registry file before launching the game. Again, no guarantee this will work. The game is still new, so the mod menu is not working for me. If it works for you, Hooray. So we have to edit the nvngx file before launching the game. So open the nvngx.ini file in the game folder. You can ignore the frame generation section because we are going to use the in-game frame generation. Scroll down and find the upscaler section. So in here, FSR 3.1 isn't working for me. If you want, you can try putting FSR 31 in here. If it doesn't work, just use auto. DLSS gives you the best image quality but lower FPS. You can use FSR 2.1.2 or 2.2 as well. Try different things, stick with what you like. I'm not going to change this. But if you are a RTX user, I think DLSS is best for you. From here, I'm just changing some sharpness values to make the game more crispy looking. You can follow these steps if you want. After that, save the file and exit. Now you can open the game. If you have accidentally chose OptiScaler 0.7, your game will crash when the pre-compile shader thing is done. So make sure to reinstall if you do that. Go to game settings and now you can choose DLSS from the menu. If your frame generation option is grayed out, you can enable reflex in the settings to unlock it. That's it, now you can play the game. So I got 70 plus FPS without frame generation. I'm getting close to double the FPS now. And these are not fake FPS either. I can feel the difference between a 70 and a 140 because I have a 100Hz monitor. For 60Hz monitor legends, you will not see a big difference. So I will play for a little bit because I wanna see if it crashed during cutscenes or after 5 minutes. Watch if you want or don't. So if I find an easier or better method to do this, a method we can use FSR 3.1 as the upscaler, I will make a separate video. Enjoy the gameplay or not, I don't care. So until next video, adios amigos.
Mr. Marston, it sure is nice to see you back on your feet again. How are you feeling? Oh, I've been worse. Man don't get to my age without a few scars. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. That's the foreman's office up ahead and the stockade, where we hold criminals. That's good to know. Hop on up. He won't bite. Come on, then. I'll show you around the property. That's our general store if you need to pick up any supplies. I think I'll pay my debts to you before I start spending any more money. Hey there! Ah. This is our horse corral. Paul's very proud of it. I can see why. You should watch us break the Broncos sometime. I'm sure a city man would find it fascinating. I'm sure he would. Come on, boys. There's the train station up ahead. That must have its advantages. You think, but the railway's done more harm to us than good. enjoyed the tour. Why don't we relax a minute before we head back out? Sounds good to me. What are you waiting for? Come on, I don't bite. <sighs> How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. <laughs> open and try not to get yourself shot again. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team.
believe it. Those damn rabbits are back. Give me a hand with them, will you? Let's see that rifle. I want a couple of these for the park. You're better at shooting rabbits than outlaws, I see. Good shot. If it's not the rustler stealing our cattle, it's the rabbit stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Was that a coyote? Get those pets before they scare the livestock. Quick, they're going after the chicken. You can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are, 